Hey everybody, Mike Iconelli here. Welcome to a brand new edition of In The Shop. And today, I want to talk to you about creating and rigging the most versatile bait ever. And when you talk about the most versatile bait, this one is the one. Um, this is called a soft plastic stick bait. And when you look at it, there's not much there, right? These are five to six inch uh, soft plastic straight tail worm looking baits. This particular one is a Berkley Power Bait General. Uh, they come in some different sizes. And when you look at it, it looks simple, but the beauty of this bait is the action, the rigging options, and the appeal to the fish. When this thing sinks, and we're gonna, we're gonna look at about three or four different rigging methods. When this thing sinks, it has a very subtle quivering motion as it falls on some of these rigging options, it's gonna have a aimless glide, and on some of them, it's going to have a quick, rapid, backward fall. And those actions mimic something alive to those fish. That thing could be a shad. It could be a minnow. It could be a bait fish. It could be a worm. It could be a crawfish. And that's the beauty of a soft stick bait is it appeals to fish from a lot of different reasons, okay? Now I want to talk to you about why this is the most versatile bait ever, and it's because of the ways we can rig it. So let's go through these methods, and instead of giving you a lot of different hooks and weights, I'm gonna show you one hook and one weight to modify it a lot of different ways, okay? Let's start with the hook, and this is all we need. This is what's great about this system. And we're gonna start off with a very standard, this is a, four-aught offset hook, okay? A four-aught offset worm hook. Uh, this happens to be a VMC, but when you look at it, that's just a standard four-aught offset hook. And for that five and six inch bait, that's, that's a perfect size. The first way we're gonna rig this soft stick bait, and this method is ideal for open water, for times when you're fishing around where there's no cover, right? Uh, there's nothing to snag on, there's no weeds, there's no logs, there's no rocks, just open water. And we're gonna take this soft stick bait with that four-aught hook, and we're gonna rig it wacky style. And wacky style, all that means is we're gonna get that bait and we're gonna hook it directly in the middle. So when you're looking at the bait before you hook it on there, just take your thumb and your middle finger, your index finger, and just measure the exact middle of the bait. And then when I do that, all I'm gonna do is take my hook point, I'm gonna go directly through the center of that bait, and that's what it's gonna look like, right? It almost, you, you, just by me shaking it, look at that, you can sort of tell what that's gonna do. And as that bait falls, right, that hook has sort of got some weight to it, that's gonna fall and that bait is gonna follow it down and it's gonna shake and quiver, just like that. That's called wacky style, right? So stick bait rigged wacky style with an exposed hook for open water. Dude, the fish are gonna see that inchworming down. They're gonna go over to it and suck it in. It's natural, it's a great way to fish it. Method number two, now we're gonna have some cover around, okay? We're gonna have some grass, some lily pads, a couple sticks, some logs, some docks. We're gonna have some actual physical cover in the water. Bass and fish love to hang around that stuff. That wacky rig's gonna hook up, it's gonna snag into it. So we're just gonna take that same bait, that same four-aught offset worm hook, and now we're gonna rig it weightless Texas style. And Texas style, all it means, it's real simple, I'm gonna show it to you again. We're gonna go in the fat end of that soft stick bait, just about an eighth of an inch, right in the middle. 
We're gonna pull it out, and when we do that, let's bring that stick bait all the way around to the eye of the hook, to where that knot is tied on the eye of the hook. And then all we're gonna do is we wanna rig that bait so it's nice and straight, and the hook point just barely coming out of that plastic, okay? So look at this thing, Texas rigged. So now there's no point exposed. We can throw that thing around, cover, skip it under docks, under branches, and it has a lot of that same shimmy, right? It has some of that same shimmy on the fall, but now it's rigged Texas style, and it will slip through the cover. So great system when you're around cover, and especially when you're around shallow cover, because this is weightless, still has a slow sink to it because of the weight of the plastic and the weight of that hook. Slow sink, little shimmy, great for shallower water with cover. All right, now what about if we want to fish this same bait deep around cover, okay? Deep around cover, and we want to get it into that cover and let it sink deep. Here's our second piece of equipment. So easy to use, so versatile. And it is a nail. A nail, a simple nail. You can go to a hardware store. You probably have them in your garage. You have some nails laying around. And they sell some specialized ones just for fishing too. And this is a VMC nail weight. This size is an eighth ounce. And the thing I love about the eighth ounce nail weight is I can get this weight and I can modify it on the fly. These particular nail weights are lead, so they're, they're pretty soft. So I can put that whole nail in if I wanna get it really deep. If I wanna get it half as deep, I could just, I just broke it with my fingers, right? I could do half of it. I can go make it a 16th, a 32nd. A 332nd, I can really modify that weight. And we're going to take this same exact bait. You ready for this? The same exact bait. And we're just going to add a nail to it, okay? We can do this Texas style or wacky style. And I'll show it to you wacky style. There's our wacky style again. If I want to fish wacky style deep, all I'm going to do is get that nail. And I want to get it close to the middle. If I'm wacky rigging it, I want to put that nail as close to that hook as I can get it. Okay, just stick it in the bait, push it in. I actually pull the body back, and now it's weighted wacky. So for open water, I can get it deep now, 5, 10, 15, 20 feet. I also like to rig it, pull that same weight out, I'll show you, just pull it right out of that body. Texas style, and when I'm Texas rigging, eighth of an inch in, pull it out, round the bend of the hook, keep that bait nice and straight. And when I'm Texas rigging it, and I want that bait to fall into the cover deep, I want to put that nail as close to the head as I can. So I just rig it just below where that hook eye comes into the bait, and now I've got a basically a weighted Texas rig soft stick bait. So now this thing's gonna slip into the cover, it's gonna fall into it, better for moderate to deep water. All right, the last system, same bait, and this is one of my favorites, guys, I gotta show you, is we're gonna make this bait glide backward. We're gonna make this bait actually glide backward and it has the ability to go under cover, under a dock, under a branch, and it has a backward glide to it. That movement is very realistic to fish. It could be a dying shad, it could be a crawfish. Crawfish scoot backwards, right? Same stuff. That's what's great about the stick bait. That's why it's the most versatile rig ever. Um, on this one, we're gonna rig it Texas style for fishing around cover but we're gonna turn it backwards, okay? So instead of that fat end, flip that soft stick bait around. We're gonna Texas rig it from the skinny end. 
I'm going to go in, same thing, eighth of an inch, pull it out. I'm going to go around the bend of that hook to the knot, to the eye of the hook. Rig it so it's straight. Okay, there's our Texas style. Fat ends in the back now. We're going to take that same nail that we used and we're going to stick it in the back. We're going to stick it in the fat end. You could push that thing all the way in or you could even leave just a little bit of it sticking out like that. And around a lot of hard bottoms, a lot of times that'll make a little ticking sound. Tick, 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 tick. That helps too, attract some bites. But now we've got it weighted from the fat end, from the tail. And when I cast this thing out, because all the weights in the back, as it falls, it's actually gonna slide and glide backwards. That weight is gonna pull it backwards. So instead of that twitching, quivering movement we had, instead of that forward weight where it's falling in and fast, now it's gonna slide and glide backwards. Sometimes straight into the face of the fish, really making those fish bite. Um, I hope you enjoyed these tips out here in the shop, talking about you know a bait that is the most versatile bait I've ever fished. One hook, one weight, one bait, a lot of different rigging options. Uh, winter, summer, spring, fall, clear to dirty water. This is probably the most versatile bait I ever fished. I hope you enjoyed this edition of In the Shop. If you do, do me a favor, go over and subscribe. Hit that button down there, subscribe to Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. We've got great educational fishing content coming to you every single week. Try that soft stick bait, rig it one of those four ways. You're gonna catch a lot of fish. Bye.